hey guys welcome back to another frostborn video in today's video i'll be showing you how to do season 24 in blue gear and also with a purple cleaver and you'd also need basic equipment like bandages meat and potions and also healing self to heal you'd also i would advise you know to bring the portal device so that you could go back to your base um fast if you need anything or you know if anything is needed overall all right, let's go ahead and head to the lab. This is the location that you're going to be doing season 24. So for the main season, which this video is all about, the main season, I'll do another video on the side quest. But for the main season, the best zone to go is in the family zone. The reason why is because you don't get any PvP in that zone. And this is the best zone to do the season, to complete the season. Um, if you'd like to do PvP and also do the season, it would be best to go solo. Um, but for the side quest, um, you know, that would require mostly the solo zone. And the family zone is not effective with the side quest, but I'll make a video on that. All right, so you want to use the Valkyries class or you can use Thrasher. If you don't have Thrasher, you could use Valkyries. Valkyries was free to play. It was given for free in a season. But if you do miss it, you'd have another chance, you know, to get it by another means. But further ado, the first thing that you'd want to do is to sneak attack the giant here or any mob um, that is within this location here. You can also come on, um, come in on the mount and just avoid some of the mobs at the entrance of the you know the passageway the hallway um you also want to heal with the healing self once you heal with the healing self you know because it's much cheaper and you don't have to waste bandages to heal um but you could definitely also use food as i stated before all right so with the valkyries here it's kind of hard to get hit with by the mobs and stuff and once you kill you know each mobs in the zone um, it's not a guarantee that they will drop something, so keep that in mind. Also, keep in mind that it depends on your level in the game. You'd get, you know, matched with different type of mobs. Um, for instance, if you have only a level class, uh, level one class, and you're a low level, you'll get matched with very low. The season would be easy for you. You don't know, like butter. It would be super easy for you um, once you're low level and have a um, small class also um but you could be low level and also have a level two class so it, the level of the mob or the power level of the mob or even the health you know it's it based off what level you're at in the game so if you're very low level you will get way easier mobs to kill in the zone and the zone would be like very easy for you bro um but keep in mind you know if you are a high level player or if you're you know above 50 or you know within that range um once you're doing the zone here um what you need is a blue gear that's all you need and you need a purple weapon so you can get a misty purple weapon for free within the um ship graveyard um that's the best zone to do to get you know weapons and armor so you can even do the the ship graveyard for the personal weapons those personal weapons you could then use within this zone here um you know so i'm just giving you guys some tips and tricks how to get you know certain weapons and stuff so hopefully it does help in the video um but yeah you can get the misty weapon the personal weapon to even do pvps in the um solo zone that's also relevant for the um you know for the side quest but i'll you know cover that in another video as i said before but what you want to do is you can try to avoid getting hit i'm gonna show you guys another clip you can try to avoid getting hit with the misty weapon the frozen frostbow misty weapon that can slow your um, enemies down um only for the the berserk type um, mobs but for the range weapon mobs you will definitely get hit but not much hits um, but once you have the frozen frostbow, it slows the mobs down, even if it's a giant, you know, and you can switch between a different weapon. You could slow it down, switch between a different weapon. Um, and that would be awesome because you don't get any hits and you just keep your distance constantly. So that's a good thing to do. You know, um, that's using a blue weapon, which is the frostbow that's using a blue weapon. And that would be very vital for the zone. Also, you want to keep in mind that to have a um basic pickaxe 
for the zone that basic pickaxe is going to be needed to get the explosive stone and for the fire steel you will get that from um from the mobs in the zone for by killing random mobs so all you'd have to do as i said before um the best combination in my opinion is the frostable which you get for free in the ship graveyard you get for free there um this is the best um combination with any weapon you can basically keep shooting the mobs and what will happen is that it will slow down the mobs they won't you know catch you pretty fast and also using their skills you can just get out of the way pretty fast and you know not get hit by any skill um you can also put in your hot bar another weapon that you'd like to use you could substitute it with another blue weapon a green weapon or you can substitute that with also a purple weapon you know either of your choice um the best um you know the best classes for the zone here is in your opinion what that would be you could use any class here in the zone that's perfectly fine and you can also because they added um the option to switch weapons from your hotbar with the weapons that you have that makes the game even more even more good i'm not gonna lie that makes the game even more good um, because the hot bar you'd then be able to take anything any weapon you know out of your hot bar and be creative in pvp uh, in this case um pve to fight you know mobs and stuff for low level players so if you have a weapon that's broken you don't have to go into your bag and all that you can just switch quickly from your hot bar and you know continue doing pve um you know in this case so i as you can see here the fighting the giant is pretty easy and he has no way of catching me i'm just you know going back and forth um shooting going back shooting and he's pretty much slowed and this is all chat this is all from getting the frost bow for free you know at the the sh great ship graveyard um what you want to do though in the ship graveyard if you're new to the game you want to take only two chests um if you're gonna avoid pvp or if you didn't get matched in pvp you want to just get two chests and leave the zone um th that two two chests will guarantee you get a frost bow um or any blue weapons or any purple weapons so it's like a guarantee you know to get weapons from the zone there um so i'll definitely recommend it to ensure that you're doing the ship graveyard you know i can't stress it enough because it's very important to do that zone and to unlock that zone you'd be, have to be at level 50 well it would be level 80 yeah it would be level 80 to unlock the um southern zone so keep that in mind all right so when you have opened the cocoon um which you'll need the resources as i said before the explosive stone which you get from the basic rocks with a basic pick pickaxe and you'd get the fire of steel the fire steel from the um, random mobs in the zone but once you have opened the cocoon you'd have to fight these mobs just um you know lower one by one you don't want to aggro all of them at once because you would then die um even faster you'd also lose a lot of durability um in that process so want to lower one by one and you know take them one by one and yeah that's about it for you know the mobs just um remember that the family zone is what is required to do the season you don't have to go to the solo zone because if you go to the solo zone then you would then get pvp'd and this doing the season would kind of be harder because you could die from pvp or you can win as you can see here we did get a root of evil and that is basically what you need um to do the season here you need two which give 150 then if you have four it gives um 300 so once you have all that then that's about it for the season um and keep in mind that the season here is pretty easy and simple just do it in the family zone um, the family zone is a non-pvp zone you won't get matched with any pvp in the zone here so you the coast would be clear and you, that would be it for doing season 24 here on a daily basis you know just log on also to remember to log on to collect your daily rewards here um you know you do get coins and stuff but if you're free to play ensure that you're saving your coins every time you do get coins save your coins for the repair table once you do get the repair table you're free to buy whatever you want in the game but the first thing that you should keep in mind is to save your coins because you there will be other events that gives you more coins and all those coins will then be used to buy a repair table so you don't have to worry about spending in the game 
um, because only thing that you really need in the game is a repair table everything else you can get for free um, once you play the game and participate in each event yep so there you have it you could definitely do season 24 in even a basic gear you don't even have to use any blue gear or green gear you can also use a basic gear but green gear are pretty cheap to make i don't think it's a big deal to make it it should be pretty simple you know to make if you're new to the game definitely farm the zones to get resources to build different gears and also to attain different gears also remember frostborn is a progression game so some things might take a while to do some things might take a while to get done um but the key is to try to do the zones here as fast as you can to reduce time and effort you know that's why some of these stuffs are added like the portal device to go back to the base pretty fast and easy and then you could go back but you know let me know if this video does help if i did miss anything you could let me know oh another bonus tip <laughs> is that you could use fire mage and any weapon um correlating with fire mage for fire mage does a lot of damage you can also use that so that's a bonus tip for those who are still watching um you know really appreciate y'all for the support and the continually watching of my videos and peace